Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find the videos useful and uh, subscribing to the channel. In today's video, Azure, I'm here to talk about how to configure point to site VPN uh, connectivity. So, we all know that uh, as we are moving our resources to uh, public cloud, we need a way to connect our resources or our on prem infrastructure to the cloud. And we have been doing this VPN connection, whether we have a head office and we have multiple uh, branch offices, we have been using the VPN uh, to connect. And uh, today I'll show you how you can configure your on-prem infrastructure to the cloud. And I'm specifically talking about the point to site VPN connectivity. That is what we will be configuring. So just to give you an idea about, so say I have, uh, this public cloud, we are talking about Azure in this case, right? And uh, we have uh, on-prem infrastructure. So we have user here, right? And if you want to connect this, you can use the VPN uh, connectivity, right? And you can connect, so resources will be connected and you'll be able to consume or access the resources which are there in, uh, in Azure. But what happens for the for the uh, users which are on the move, right? The user which are mobile. For them, you can configure something what you call point to site VPN connectivity by using self signed certificate. And actually, we'll be configuring and uh, generating those, uh, and uh, this allows you or give these uh, mobile users. access to the resources uh, in uh, in public cloud both site to site and uh, uh, the point to site they use this different protocol there are different pros and cons for both but uh, if you don't have very large uh, uh, pool of users you have a couple of users uh, point to site is definitely a, a good uh, option to choose from because you don't have uh, uh, that many users on which clients computer on which you need to install these self signed certificate and we'll be seeing how to do that. I already have created a virtual network within my Azure subscription and uh, I have a, a server in this public cloud and it is running a private IP of 192.168.0.4 and uh, we'll try to connect by utilizing point to site VPN connectivity. So let's get started. Let me go to my Azure portal. And if I go to the virtual network, you can see that I already have a virtual network with the name VPN VNet in which my virtual machine is also there. So the first thing you want to do is to go to subnet and create a gateway subnet. I'll give this a range of 192.168.1.0 slash 27. Press everything, I'll leave that to default and create, click on OK. So you can see that uh, the subnet was added successfully, so I can close this. The second step is to create virtual network gateway. So let me just go and highlight that. Click on add. And uh, we'll start by giving the name. I'll name it VNet Gateway. You can choose VPN or express route. So this is the selection that you have to make when you're talking about connecting your uh, infrastructure. In our case, we'll be using VPN, which will go over public internet and we'll use route-based uh, uh, routing, not the policy-based because we are configuring point to site for that route-based is needed. And uh, there are four options to choose from. You can go basic, GW1, 2, and 3. Basically, these are the kind of bandwidth you'll be getting. For basic, you get 100 Mbps, GW1 650, 2, GW2 is 1 gigabit per second, and uh, GW3 is 1.2 gigabit per second. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to pick basic, and uh, we'll create, a, or actually, we'll choose a virtual network, which is VPN VNet, which we already have, and we need to give a public IP for this uh, virtual network gateway. I will name it uh, VNet Gateway Public IP and rest everything I will leave that to the default and click on create. So 
So you can see that uh, deployment has been initiated. Now this will take some time. So let me do this way. Let me now while this is getting deployed, we can utilize some time. Let's go and uh, generate the root and the client certificate. So what I'm going to do is I'll open the PowerShell and uh, I will run this as an administrator. Let me minimize everything. And uh, what we'll be doing is to generate this uh, certificate will be using two PowerShell command. So the command that we'll be using is the first command is this to generate the root certificate. And uh, I'll plug this in the PowerShell. Okay, so the first command ran successfully, no error, and let me just run the second now. Okay, so we generated the root and the client certificate. Now, if you want to check this, you can just go to, just do a search for Just go to the management console of your certificate. Oops. I think I typed a bit quickly. Let me just type it. Cert management manage computer certificate. Actually, I can remove this. Okay, so if you go into personal, uh, there should be some certificate which should be generating actually. Okay, I don't see anything right now. Let me just go and uh, close it one time. Let me just log in again. Why is taking to the search? Hmm. Sorry, it's Cert Manager. I think that's why. Okay, I should be able to see those uh, certificates there. Okay, so it has appeared over here as you can see now. So let me do this way. Let's go to the root certificate first. I'm right click, go to all task, go to export. And now at this wizard, I can go next. I don't want to export the private key. And make sure that you've chosen BA64 encoded X.509. Go next and uh, just give a name for the file in which you'll be saving this. I'm gonna name it root, save it, and go next and finish. The export was successful. So that is good. And uh, let me go back again and uh, I'm gonna just export the client certificate uh, or child certificate, we'll be needing that. So go to all tasks, go to export. Next, I would like to export the private key for this. Go next and make sure that it's personal information exchange, include all certificate in the certification path. Go next and here I will give the password. Go next. 
give the file name under which you want to save this I'll name it client save it go next and finish so the export was uh, successful okay you can close the cert manager so if I minimize this and uh, what I want now I can actually close this I don't need this I don't want to save it if you go and uh, open the root folder I want to open with I want to open this with notepad okay so what I need is I just need to copy these uh, this combination of numbers in alphabet I'm gonna copy this will be needing in a moment and then what I want to do is to create a PFX file so install PFX for the current user for the client certificate go next it is asking for the password the one that we created go next automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate and go and finish and do you want to install yes i want to install the certificate the import was successful so so far we are good with generating and uh, exporting the certificate but uh, as we all know that now uh, this uh, installation of gateway is still going on so it will take some time i believe so actually let me just just check and see so you see installation is still going on on an average it takes 25 to 30 minutes for the whole installation to take place so let me just do this let me just pause the video and i'll be back once the installation is complete okay so the installation was done successfully so let's do this way let me close this and go to our virtual network gateway expand this and you see under setting I have point to site configuration I will go to configure now and here we'll give the address pool for our virtual network gateway I'm going to give it okay and I uh, will give the name for the root certificate and I'll paste the root certificate the one that we generated and let me try to save it Okay, so the root certificate was uh, added successfully so what we're going to do is now we'll download the VPN client on this local machine and install the required software
okay and depending upon your architecture of your machine you can go and uh, install Yes, I want to install the VPN client. Okay, so let me just minimize this and open the network property of my local machine. Okay, and you can see that the VPN client VPN VNet is disconnected and something has appeared. I will right click and connect and open the VPN VNet. And I'll say I want to connect. So click connect to begin connecting. So it is verifying the password. Okay, and uh, it seems that it is connected. So what I want to do is test is this by opening the RDP session and I'll try to connect the machine which is uh, having a private network of 192.168.0.4 which is sitting in Azure and uh, let me see if I'm able to connect. So it is asking me for the credential Click OK. Okay, let me try one more time. the client was uh, deployed successfully but uh, okay so it's trying to connect now by using the private network that we have so it's not uh, using the public IP and uh, you can see that now it is uh, connecting by utilizing the point to site connectivity and the client certificate that we deployed in our on our local machine Just waiting the server to come up on the screen but everything seems to be working fine
So here you see that uh, how we have successfully created a point to site uh, connection uh, by utilizing the self sign certificate that we generated. I hope this video will be useful to you and uh, you can implement now uh, point to site connection for your uh, pool of users which are mobile. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.